The world of the good wife and the good fight continues as CBS's Elsbeth just wrapped its first season. You can check out all of the episodes now on Paramount+. Plus. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, Dan here. This is Dan Reviews. Welcome to my TV review for Elsbeth. This aired uh, on Thursday nights this season on CBS. It just wrapped season one. Uh, so now you can catch all of the episodes on Paramount Plus and you can also check out uh, reruns all summer on CBS. This is from the, uh, the Kings, Robert and Michelle King, uh, who I believe are a married couple, um, but they have brought us The Good Wife, The Good Fight. They also created the show Evil, uh, which has been very successful, um, and just started streaming the first few seasons of that in repeats on Netflix. Um, but I think the latest season of that is up on Paramount Plus as well. So they've got a lot of balls in the air, but, uh, keeping this, this, uh, Good Wife universe going, uh, with Carrie Preston as Elspeth. So we're going to talk about all this here in just a second. First, though, let me welcome you into Damn Reviews. And thank you for finding this video. We've got movie and TV reviews here on the channel, and just about every day something new goes up. So there's always a lot going on. You can check out the playlist on the homepage that will uh, streamline your experience, whether you're looking for mostly movies or TV shows, and uh, it, it separates them by year as well. So very, very convenient there. But please consider subscribing. Click that like button, comment below. All that stuff, of course, helps the channel out. All right, so to get started, I uh, was a huge fan of The Good Wife. Um, I think I was maybe a little late to the game by a couple of years, um, but I, I ended up catching up and, uh, you know, watching all of those. And then The Good Fight, uh, I enjoy as well. Uh, a lot of critics lists have The Good Fight higher than The Good Wife. Good Fight is is definitely good. It's a different take, um, but I think it's a little too topical to kind of uh, have any lasting effect, um, which is something I, I do look for in shows sometimes. But um, but the Carrie Preston character, uh, Elspeth uh, Tascioni, has been on both of those shows. In fact, she won an Emmy for guest uh, performance on The Good Wife. Um, so that's been a few years now. But uh, so she reprises her role here as uh, Elsbeth, and she uh, has has traded in her her lawyer career in Chicago, which is where both of those shows take place. Um, and she has uh, moved to the New York City, and uh, she she is going to be a detective there now. Um, she is an offbeat uh, and unconventional uh, person who has, uh, I would, I would say is definitely, uh, neurodivergent. They don't explicitly say that in the show, but I've always kind of felt that about her character. Um, but, um, anyway, she is assigned to oversee, uh, a, a department, uh, or what have you, uh, with the help of actual police, including, uh, those played by Wendell Pierce and, uh, Kara Patterson. Um, and, this is mostly a uh, how catch him as opposed to a who done it. So who done it? We know what that is. That's you know um, you spend the whole series or uh, episode or play or movie or whatever wondering who did it. You know Agatha Christie, um, you know was was sort of the master of those. But a how catch him kind of flips it on the other side. Columbo is uh, the best example of that from the seventies, uh, but also the Natasha Leone series Poker Face from last year on Peacock is that way. And, and, uh, not all of the Elspeth episodes are like that. There is at least one that's a whodunit, um, because I've watched the first three and one of them is a whodunit, but, um, for the most part, they are the inverse, which is a how catch up, which is a term I didn't know, honestly, but it makes a lot of sense. Um, wherein we see, uh, the person or persons, uh, committing the crime in like the first scene or second scene. And then we spend the entire episode learning how the person, in this case, Elspeth, is going to catch them uh, and, and discover them and, and play it out. Um, and, and I, you know, look, I, I'm a fan of sort of both uh, varieties of that. Um, I, I think the whodunit um, can be good, but obviously, you know, there's always like a lot of red herrings. And um, I'll be honest, I usually never never really figure it out, um, you know, and some people are great at it, you know, um, after I'd watched Knives Out for the first time, it came on TV, and my brother and I were watching it, I was like, oh, you'll really like this movie, and, uh, you know, basically, as soon as the one person showed up, he was like, oh, that's the person that did it, I'm like, okay, you know, uh, I, I, I don't usually do that, because at one point, I think it's everybody, I, I'm one of those dopes, um, so this does you know, turn it on its ear a little bit, and I like that. But look, the selling point of this show is Elspeth. Carrie Preston is 
fantastic in the role. And, and you've seen her, even if you've never seen The Good Wife or The Good Fight, you've seen her in something over the years. You know, she's done so much uh, character work. She's, you know, definitely one of the the character actresses out there. Um, but with this show, maybe, uh, you know, she will become a household name. But um, so while this is set in the universe of The Good Wife and The Good Fight, um, and there are references to people uh, from those shows. You know, Wendell Pierce actually, uh, his character a couple of times mentioned Carrie Agos, who was on The Good Wife. He did not make the transition to the, uh, the follow-up show because um, by that point, that actor was on The uh, the Resident on Fox. Um, but, you know, I, as far as I can see from the cast list, he does not make a guest appearance or anything. But it's interesting that they're sort of at least mentioning people um, you know, from that universe to, to let us know, yes, this is still uh, the same Elsbeth that we we knew and loved on uh, those shows. Um, and Carrie Preston, like I said, she's just fantastic. This is a funny show. Um, you know, it's it's actually the, the second episode featuring Jane Krakowski was a little reminiscent of Only Murders in the Building because it did involve an apartment building. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, the rotating guest list, you know, which poker face had i assume colombo had it as well in the 70s i didn't really watch colombo um you know i know about it of course but um and if i were to watch it would i even know those famous stars from the 70s you know who knows but um but that that's always an exciting one where okay every episode's going to have a different guest star and maybe you know you learn in the first scene that they're the murderer or not or what have you um, but, uh, the, the cast list, um, you know, is, is very impressive. I think this is a very fun show. CBS, um, you know, really kind of hit the ground running after the strike because I just recently reviewed Tracker, which just wrapped its first season as well. And really, really liked that different, um, you know, sort of vibe, certainly, um, you know, more on the action drama kind of, uh, tip, but, um, this is, you know, an, an act, uh, not action, a, a comedy mystery, I would say. Um, and, and it's held together completely by the performance of Carrie Preston. Um, you know, she, she brings the laughs. Um, and you believe this character as well. It is a little, you know, like Natasha Leone in Poker Face, whatever. I know I keep mentioning that. That is the most recent example of a show like this. I think it's done probably a little bit better there. Um, you know, and not necessarily because this is sanitized for network or whatever. I think it's, it works, um, for what it is. But I love this wave that we're getting of sort of these, uh, retro feel shows, you know, um, CBS obviously loves a procedural. They, they are all about, you know, the NCISs and the CSIs and the whatevers, um, you know, the, the mentalist, all, all of these shows that they've had over the last 20 years, um, you know, from their drama department that are procedurals. Um, and this one fits right in with that, but it's a lot more quirky, a lot more funny. Um, and Carrie Preston really is, is the glue for that. Um, so, uh, I mentioned last week that Tracker, you know, is, is maybe the best uh, new network show in a while. I think uh, Elspeth could certainly give it a run for its money. I'm going to leave it with the same grade as I gave Tracker, which is a B+. Uh, all right, so that is it. You can check this out. Like I said, season one is streaming on Paramount now, and uh, you can probably check out reruns all summer long uh, on CBS as they as they kind of, uh, you know, look to fill their schedule uh, before the fall season starts. So, all right, thank you for watching Dave Reviews. It. I'll see you next time.